What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic Online. We're going to do a stipulation today by Caspar Dix. Uh, Caspar Dix, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so we're just going to say Caspar Dix. Um, Aurelian, and uh, this is a killer stipulation. It's uh, you name your killer once you've seen your opening hand, and this will be the only creature able to attack your opponent. Uh, if your killer gets killed, you're automatically allowed to name another up to four times. That was a limit we chose because otherwise, like, you just can't win the game. <clears throat> Um, other creatures are allowed to attack Planeswalkers, and you can steal your opponent's creatures to attack them, but uh, the only creature in your deck that you're able to attack with at any given time is the the killer. And based on that, I'm definitely taking this True Name Nemesis, because that is a pretty resilient murder machine. So it's actually like the most perfect card to open. Uh... In, in this particular stipulation, so everybody wins. Well, I guess just we win, hopefully. You don't really want everybody to win. It's a cube draft, so, you know, if everybody wins, then it's not really going, going correctly. <clears throat> Hmm. I don't mind days. Sort of body and mind is a favorite of mine, even though uh, some people don't like the swords that much. Savages. Uh, we could just take a, like a braid. You could take a boros signet. <clears throat> these are all uh, these are all the questions we gotta ask ourselves. Could take Llanowar elves. Go turn one tropical island Llanowar elves. Turn two true name nemesis. I do like Sword because they work they work great with True Name Nemesis. Also, Twin feels uh, Twin is also good because in the stipulation he does mention that uh, you can have multiple copies of your killer example, Splinter Twin or Metamorph. So if you if you're able to copy the True Name Nemesis, you're you, you get ahead there. We could go turn five Lotus into turn into True Name Nemesis. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Heathens don't like swords. This card just wins games. <clears throat> I'm going to take Dazed, though. This card wins games, he said, before taking the Dazed. <laughs> uh, there's a Karn. I do like Breeding Pool. It's funny, because we just talked about how we can go Lenore Elves off of like a tropical island, but and then a Breeding Pool. Does putting a sword in your kill? Yeah, of course. Because it's, it's, it's only, the only the only killer that can attack is one creature, right? It has nothing to do with what it, what it wears. I bet the sword actually tables. It's very possible that the sword just comes back, because people don't respect swords. I like Hostage Taker. I like Karn. I don't think it's any of the blue cards, unfortunately. I like Search, and I just like Breeding Pool. Hostage Taker could be good. If we can, like, steal a Mox. I feel like we've done blue-black, like, a lot recently. I kind of want to be red, to be quite honest. I might just take the Karn. I'm going to take the Karn. <clears throat> I do like the idea of Splinter Twin in this in this stipulation, because it it is an efficient way to kill someone with one creature. I'll take Frost Titan. Yeah, Frost Titan seems fine. Jace Bellerin. All right. I think sticking with the blue has worked out so far. None of these red cards are super compelling. Not not enough to take another color anyway. Stip does say stolen creatures can win, which makes blue even better. That is correct. And if that's what you're saying. If that is what you mean. Uh, Ugin. <clears throat> um, huh. Oh, and he says it looks restricted, but I think there's a lot of ways to do it. Splinter Twin, Storm, Oath of Druids, Super Friends with Soldier Tokens, Tinker, Demir, Steal Your Things, Pack Rat, even Burn. So you can just take like an Ugin and like just shoot their face with it. That is a totally reasonable thing to do. So. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, pack rats. Speaking of pack rats. Yikes. We've also seen Pia Nalar and Pia and Kieran Nalar, so. Fascinating. Fascinating. This is real tempting, but I don't think we have the, the capabilities for it. It might just be pack rat. Pack rat wins so many unreasonable games. 
Uh, Karn is not a creature, so I don't have to ever name Karn because it only it only applies to creatures who are attacking. Oh, I like Fiery Confluence, just as a way to deal some damage. Disregard the Pack Rat, maybe. Fiery Confluence is pretty gas. I mean, the only other card we take is Arguable's Bloodfast, which is arguably a uh, worse card. <clears throat> Hellrider. Shriek Maw. Eh, we'll probably just take Shriek Maw here. I think we're on the fence between what we're taking here. We can see now we got a Braid or Hero's Downfall. Also, if we played Massacre Worm, we don't have to name it as the killer if, if it kills a bunch of their guys because it's not attacking. So, I feel like we can probably stick with black here. Oh, Mask Worm is so good. I think it's got to be Mask Worm here. Oh, wow, the Hostage Taker came back. That's actually a... So did Knight's Whisper and Bells and Lock? Yeah, we'll just take Hostage Taker. And Chupacabra. All right, so... <laughs> wow, all three red cards came back. Yep, that's reason. And Vraska's Contempt. Okay, seems good. Well, last pick Nicol Bolas, maybe? It's a pretty good, pretty good 12 cards here. Last pick Eureka. Fascinating. <clears throat> Fascinating. Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. That is a fat boy. Main board is looking good. How dare you. How dare you. Definitely taking this underground sea. That's like actual perfect land. I would love to take this, but blue-black is not a color where we can actually get that guy into play very easily, so... Uh, ultimate price is okay. Crucible and Strip Mine in the same pack? Oh, man. What are the odds one of them comes back? I'm also tempted to just take Badlands. Factor Fiction also good, but I think our four drop slot is a little high right now. Hmm. <clears throat> the Sword also didn't come back, worth noting. It's either ultimate price or it could just it could just be Badlands. Take the five drop could be Tamio. Tamio is actually fine. I don't hate it. I mean, as far as like card drawing goes, it might be on par with Factor Fiction just because it's a Planeswalker that stays on the board. Ultimate price is eh, pretty replaceable. I like Badlands in case you want to play these, but both are double red, so it's a little it's a little suspect. I'd rather just take a, a good blue card. I like a Tamio. Oh, him to Torok is great here. If this compulsive research table is, I'll be glad. So I'm gonna take the him to Torok. That's a pretty high power card. That we can easily play in our two color deck. Ooh, Deceiver Exarch. Oh god. What does that mean? <clears throat> Do we just take that and like cross our fingers? I don't think it's Mind Slaver. Although there is an Academy Ruins that might come back, which is pretty interesting. <sighs> so we saw Crucible and Strip Mine in the same pack, and now we see Mind Slaver and Academy Ruins in the same pack. There's a lot of sadness happening. I don't think it's either of these. I think it's definitely one of these. The problem is we have no other artifacts, so if we do get Mind Slaver and Academy Ruins comes back, I don't even know Mind Slaver's in the cube, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's take Mind Slaver. I think it's powerful enough on its own. Through the Breach. Interesting. I'm going to take Metamorph here. We definitely don't need another uh, Necrotal effect. Yeah, we'll take Metamorph. Bayou. Oh, man. Oh, Phantasmal, which is nice. Ooh, Tinker into Mind Slaver, maybe? Hmm. Is that good? I don't know. I actually feel like Wheel might... Uh, Academy Ruins might Wheel. This pack is actually interesting. Tinker is really strong, and if, if the uh, the Inquil Leviathan comes back, we might have it. But we don't have any artifacts right now, like zero. Phantasm is very good. Go for the Throat is very good. I think it's Image. Oh, wow. Ashiok. <laughs> okay. Well, we're getting all the hits here. 
I also like a search for Escanta, but I'm definitely taking this Ashiok. And then we're just hoping for something really good in the third pack. Oh, we can steal our opponent's creature, so Animate Dead could be where you want to be here. I don't think it's Dark Confidant with this curve, but Animate Dead seems just fine. We also passed it in Tomb, so maybe the Entomb comes back because no one wants it, but... <clears throat> we do have Metamorph as an artifact, so we can, I guess, tinker our Metamorph away. I also feel like that's a super late... That was like an 8-pick Ashiok, was it not? Here's a Reanimate. So now we have Reanimate Dead and Reanimate. It's probably better than in Phyrexian Arena, right? My, um... The thing I like is that both Reanimate and Animate Dead can target, uh... Creatures from any graveyard. So you don't actually have to fill your own graveyard with good creatures. You can just take theirs. Um... I'm going to take Reanimate. I think it's a stronger upside than, uh, than Phyrexian Arena. Wow, the Crucible came back. We could have actually taken Crucible. I don't think we're actually a Smuggler's Copter deck. I'd rather just have an Ultimate Price if I really need one. Putrid Imp does make the Reanimate strategy a little better. Fatal Push. Okay. Necrotal. Okay. No Academy Runes came back? Dang. That's sad. Hater's gonna hate. Dark Ritual him, reanimate their Hypnotic Spectre. That's actually pretty good. Ideally, they would be discarding something else, but also the Inkwell Leviathan didn't come back either, so. Sad days. Sad days. Run, 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 run. Pretty sure you get bonus points for the betrayal arc of stealing the guy and killing them with it. Like the killer was in our midst. <laughs> the killer was among us the entire time, you see. Uh, Dark Slick Shores is great. Probably the pick because we only have one fixing land so far. And we do have like double blue, double black, double, double, double. Yeah, I think that's easily the, easily the pick. Gonti's also good because you can play their creature and attack with it. Uh, but I think Gonti might come back. So I'm going to take the Dark Slick Shores. Leave them black and blue, like the Dark Slick Shores. Another Emrakul, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Gristlebrand? Hmm. We can discard it to Packrat or Putrid Imp and then reanimate it or animate dead it. Hmm. That is an option. I also like just Bloodstained Mire here. <clears throat> I think it's probably Bloodstained Mire. Although Gristlebrand is pretty solid. Like, the, the problem with Gristlebrand is that, like, we don't have any ramp right now. So it's really just a big idiot that we have to have. Like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even super sold on playing Reanimate right now. Animate Dead I like, because it's just not... I'm not going to take eight, 8 damage to do it, but... I think we just want the Bloodstain, because Bloodstain does get us Underground C, so... Uh, Vampiric Tutor seems pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Vampiric Tutor. Seems like a pretty easy pick, to be quite honest. Sower of Temptation. Well, that is stealing their guy, isn't it, Mister Steal Yo Guy? Yeah, that's pretty easy pick. There was nothing in that pack that I'm really. <clears throat> competing for there. Ooh, I like a Baleful Strix and a Grave Titan. Kozilek I'm not super high on when you don't have any uh, any ramp. I don't know if we need another 6 drop, to be honest. So I could, meh, could be iffy on Grave Titan. I think it's just Baleful Strix. You did. You, you well, as, as soon as you said Psycho Killer, as soon as I was like, I was like, no, it's in there now. It's also one of my favorite uh, Talking Heads songs. Yeah, it's definitely Baleful Strix. Oh, Creeping Tarpet and Cryptic Command on the same pack? Oh my god. I think it's actually Creeping Tarpet here. I think having our mana fixed is more important. And we also have 23 cards right now. We're not really hurting for that effect, unfortunately. Oh, and Exhume too? Jeez. Buttery biscuits. I'm going to take this cast down because we don't have a second effect like this. Oh, well, we have Fatal Push and we have Necrotal and we actually have a bunch of removal to be quite honest. 
Might be Sorcerer Spy class. I like Sorcerer Spy class. We'll just take that. Oh, three mana Liliana and a Damnation. What in Damnation? <clears throat> Liliana also lets us discard things. But we, the problem is we don't have many things to discard to reanimate. Like we have Frost Titan and Mask Room. The only card we actually saw that we'd be like really, really uh, eager to to reanimate would be like. Gristlebrand. Like, I don't even think Grave Titan or like... If I'm just reanimating a 6 drop, I can probably just cast them normally. I'll take Liliana. And the Gaunti did indeed come back, like you do. What in tarnation, Bobby? I'm about to bust. Yeah, Gaunti's great. Oh, the Gristlebrand came back. Well, that is a thing. I guess it's going right here. All right, so. We have to make at l several cuts right now. <clears throat> I could probably cut Tamiyo. I'm not super high on Tamiyo. Bubba Butterfree! I'm okay, Dad. I actually really like Slaver. I think Slaver is actually really strong. Like, if you get to steal their turn and then kill all their things, like, it's it's actually, Slaver is very strong. It's not even like Emrakul where they get a turn afterwards. Like, you just get your turn. You, you get a turn, you get their turn, and then you get another turn. Like, it usually, you can just, usually, if you just activate Mind Slaver, you win the game. Uh, so, here's the thing about Worm being a sideboard card. Grave Titan is definitely making the cut. Probably over Frost Titan. Oh, Toxic Deluge is a nice late pickup. That's really good, too. Jeez. Wow, and an Exhum? Holy Jesus. Wow, that was really late. Good gravy. Okay, well. I'm going to probably take out Frost Titan and Massacre Worm. Time to take out Tamio. You're a three drop, so let's not let's not get it twisted. I don't love Karn, but I think it's fine for now. We only need one more cut, so we can probably cut something that's not one of those. We also have a like the ridiculous Like this is nice for I don't love Exhum. But it's nice to have like a lot of removal in the sideboard for various things. Like this is all great. This our sideboard is actually pretty good this game, or this draft rather. I think Titan's fine, but if I have to choose between a Grave Titan or a Frost Titan, I'm gonna go with Frost. I'm gonna go with Grave Titan. Phantasmal Image. We have Phantasmal Image, Phyrexian Metamorph, and Sower of Temptation. All of which are very very good. We also have Shriek Maw, Ravenous Chupacabra, Vraska's Contempt, and Ultimate Price. Liliana helps us discard along with Pack Rat if we want to reanimate something. But right now we only have Animate Dead to do it. Might might just want to reanimate as well. Because we are making them discard with Liliana. We're making them discard with um, him to Torok. We can probably take out one of these four drops. Yeah, Ashiok also steals their guy, so. So, Gonti can steal one of their creatures to attack with. Sower can steal one of their creatures to attack with. Ashiok can put their guys into play. Animate dead. I want to put the, I'm going to put the reanimate in here and try to cut something else. Maybe ultimate price? Eh, it's, it's so versatile, though. I think it's I think it might be Chupacabra, because we already have Hostage Taker. Or it might be Hostage Taker. The thing is, like, this can exile something like an Ulamog. So I kinda like getting rid of this. Also, we can steal like a Mox or a Sword and just cast it, which is super, super nice. Alright, now we need one cut. Hmm. 
Let me go over here. And actually, this this curve is looking better now. I can also just play 41, which I think I'm always okay with. Yeah, let's do 41. I think it's fine. All of these are coming in. So our mana base is actually pretty decent. 7-5. Meyer can only get a swamp. It can get an underground, but it can only also only get a swamp. So we're gonna have one, two, three. We're gonna have ten, ten. With a little bit, little bit heavier on black, so it's basically ten nine unless we got underground. But I think it's fine. Oh, we actually get one more. So I will just add one more of these guys. Yeah, I was actually kind of iffy on the days. Eh, it's kind of just yeah. All right, we can do that. I'm game. I'm game with that. I was actually thinking about it, but I kind of like the the Gotham factor. But I mean, if we have we, we this isn't really a deck that has a way to exploit, you know, bouncing a land, replaying it, playing another like three drop. Like it's kind of we kind of don't really want. And otherwise, it's just a two mana force spike, which will get some guys occasionally. But this hand is kind of slow, but we'll try it. I don't think it's terrible. Oh, Cyborg Yui himself. Man, what a time to be alive. And you're in the chat. Don't you be ghosting. All right. Oh, who's the killer? Um, we're gonna name Hostage Taker, because obviously that's the only Actually Maybe Creeping Tarpet's better. Yeah, we'll say Creeping Tarpet. That just makes more sense. Alright, let's Also, I think it's worth noting that it doesn't. You don't have to name what's in your hand. You just take a look at your hand to make it easier for uh, your decisions. I'm actually tempted to get something with Vampiric Tutor on our upkeep, but I don't think that's great. All right, so nothing here. We're going to have three mana next turn. We might Vampiric Tutor into something. We'll see. Pretty sure we will. Crazy Eyes Killer. That's a solid uh, solid Larry David reference. That's a... Pretty, 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 pretty good. Solid. Solid reference. I'll take one. Run, 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 run. Oh, that's a real, that's a real dude right there. Oh, where's the toxic deluge when you need it? All right, let's see. What we can go. Oh, toxic deluge would be nuts here. Um. Pro black, huh? Well. Oh, Trinium Nemesis has got to be the card, right? Although I can't attack with Trinium Nemesis here. But, oh, they can just give Pro Blue here, right? Well, that's actually fine because then we get to kill it. This is where they go, Council's Judgment. Yeah, as soon as they put their Mother of Ruin shields down, we're in good shape. Ooh, we did it. All right, let's Gaunty. I 
feel like I should just always name true name nemesis. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, biscuits. Yikes. Oh. Oh, you're just helping you're just helping me out, buddy. Planeswalker Academy. Two more turns. Oh, this is good. They're getting aggressive. Wait, what happened? It chose blue. Targeted Mirror Crusader, they chose blue. But it doesn't actually say pro blue on here. It literally doesn't say pro blue. That's super weird. All right, well, I guess. Uh... Give me that mom. <laughs> Oh, I will choose you. Resolve, I hope. Don't swords in response. Oh, no. No. Unexpectedly absent on the mom. See you later, mom. Choosy moms choose moms. This guy's pretty hard to target. Like, oh, we can't attack. It's so sad because we named Creeping Tarpit. Little do they know. <laughs> Little do they know that we can't actually do anything. Oh, we could have waited and, and, and we can just metamorph the hostage taker to steal the mom this turn, so. They're probably like, why aren't you attacking? And I'm like, buddy, you know. <laughs> I will copy this, which will target your mother. It is I who has your mom now. God, I can't attack. This is so sad. I could, I could adult sag. They could be dead soon. This is so funny for all our opponents because they're like, why the hell are, why aren't they attacking? Land. Alright, that'll do, pig. <laughs> I can attack with the Mother of Runes, actually, because it was stolen. So that's pretty good. Are we in good shape? I don't know. It's hard to say. Just Mother of Runes. They're probably like, what the hell? Come on, just kill me. This is great. This is a fantastic... <laughs> We're having a good time. Hero of Bladehold. Yep. It's always here. One, two, three, four. One, two. If we hit a land here, we can kill this. And... Oh, that was beautiful. One, two, three, activate you. All right, so now we can attack with our killer, uh, our stolen creatures, and doing pretty good. This is working out quite well. He's being killed by his own mother.
That was great. We had two true name nemesis on board. And we couldn't attack with either of them. I'm going to bring Toxic Deluge in for sure. Massacre Worm comes in for sure. Mind Slaver we can probably take out. Um, I don't like the reanimation just because we only have Gristle Dad. So we can take out that. Take out Reanimate. Take out Animate Dead. And maybe like bring in Chupacabra. Because it's these effects are pretty strong. Fatal Push is also good. Uh, Collector Brutality is probably better than Chups actually. It can also hit like an unexpectedly absent, perhaps. I just tuned into the stream and and nonsense was happening, so I knew there had to be. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. This hand is great. Um, I'm just gonna name True Name Nemesis as the killer. It doesn't have to be an opening hand. We just get to look at our opening hand to decide. So I will keep this. Thank you. Oral, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Second turn him to Torax, nice. Unfortunately, we're just going to him something huge, like an Aleshnorn. And then we're going to be real sad we don't have Animate Dead in our deck. Oh, that's great. Turn two him into turn three Jace is nice. Plus our mana is basically perfect. Oh, wow. We just have it all. I want it all. Wow, time walking a bribery. Woo. Woo. Those are some hot hits, dude. <laughs> Best him to Torok ever. My God. Man. All right. We're just going to deluge here for two. We could get greedy, but we're going to take six damage to get greedy. And we're already taking three from the deluge. Plus, like, if they play anything else, we can Vraska's Contempt it. Now we're taking two here. I don't want to take three. And then we got either... If they play nothing, we can play Jace... We can Vraska's can there on my blue splash. It was a pretty good splash. What's a killer? Uh it's a that's a murderer. It's someone who kills things. Come on, this is all grade school stuff. Hero Blade Hold. Last card in hand. Emiria Angel. What do we think about Phantasmal Imaging and then playing a land? Hmm. I think we like it. No, sir. I don't like it. But I do like it. Fascinating. Fascinating. God, which do we kill? The Linval? I don't think the Linval actually does much against us. Oh, man. Look at this. The rich get richer. I think we actually want to just kill the Emiria, right? Uh, I don't really have any creatures that, uh, 
I want to kill this now because I don't want them to give, give them an opportunity to play a land. Um, I also don't have any creatures that have activated abilities, to my knowledge, so... So, I, I'm not too concerned with a Linvala. Yep, that is fine. Plus, if we hit a land, we can just play two Planeswalkers. That's pretty insane. Alright, well, I guess we're going to do that. One, two, three. Jasons. Uh, I will draw a card. I'm not going to let you draw a card, because I'm not crazy. Crazy! The problem, my, my one problem, oh, we have a Bloodstained Mire too, we can make more birds. My one problem with the deck so far is that you give them a lot of time. Not not the deck, with the stipulation. Because they're going to end up having uh, a bunch of time to deal with this. But. What do we hit? Oh, Angel of Sanctions? Oh, Gravy. Unfortunately, if that dies, it goes to their graveyard so they can get it back, which is not ideal. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's okay. I'm not sure if I can attack with the tokens. I know I can attack with stolen creatures or creatures that are not mine. Creatures that have been taken from them. However, this was not technically taken from them, so I'm not sure. Oh, what are we naming? Yep, we're going to vote for Ashok. That seems fine. That was a solid draw. That, however, is a card that we are stealing from them. Uh, let's actually use all the black because we're going to be able to. We're going to be getting a a swamp with bloodstained mire because our underground is in play. What? Oh dear God! What rips? We're also gonna have seven mana this turn, so next turn we can just Ugin. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'm just gonna take the Gideon. My only concern is if I steal one of their creatures. Um, oh, well, this is going to be theirs, so I can attack with Gideon, too. So that's pretty cool. The thing I want to do is uh, I want to be able to cast Gideon to kill this so that we can start attacking with our birds. Or actually to just keep Ugin alive. That's really what we want to do. All right. Well, land is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this I think. Oh, well, that's good, too. Our whole deck is good. Let's be real. Oh, this is always yes. Yeah, there we go. Eugene. It's your boy. Is it your boy? Do we actually even want to give them a card here? I don't know. Well, I can't attack with Gonti. Do we each draw a card? Am I scared of that? We put a path, an Elspeth, and something else on the bottom. They've already used Council's Judgment. <laughs> Franklin is in the Tanklin. Oh my god. Alright. I'm game. Look how many birds we have. They've given you enough. Be generous. <laughs> Oh, a Karn, eh? Okay. I think we're pretty far ahead here. We have an Ugin, a Jace, a Gonti, six birds, and an Amira Angel, a Gideon Jura that not even that not even is ours. Oh, bounce our bounce our Gonti. The old six in the chat window. That is a classic. I'm like, let me name, let me hit a thing. Can we get our true name nemesis for crying out loud? Well, that ain't it. So 
So one, two, three, four, one, two. We're gonna have to play this in such a way that if we draw True Name Nemesis, we get to cast it. Oh, we did it! Yeah, we're good at this game. That's our killer. It's your boy. How much advantage is too much advantage? Is my is the, really the question we have to ask ourselves. Demented Wombat, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. I appreciate it. They're gonna give me an island. Joke's on you. An island is actually uh, is actually a bird. Activated you. Activated you. Activated you. All right. It's unfortunate that we can't attack with most of these creatures. So, uh, do you ultimate? Draw seven, put up to seven permanents from your hand on the battlefield. That's not as good because it doesn't actually kill them. They have one card in hand. Two cards in hand? Me too. I know the feeling, buddy. Wrath of God? Bane Slayer Angel? Okay. Okay. Island up here will be brutal. Oh, we do have a Sower of Temptation in our deck. That would be gas. And thankfully, it's Baneslayer, not Lyra, so they can't bounce it. So that actually works out well for us. Sower of Temptation. Liliana of Livale. I just like to add a fourth planeswalker to my to my side of the board if that's if that's okay with you. So long, Lil Linvala. I have a feeling you are not gonna make uh Well, I don't want Fatal Push here. Actually, do I have a way to get rid of a card? Cause we could have fatal pushed Linvala and forced them to sack the Bane Slayer. But that's a lot of work. Looking for some hot stuff. What do we got here? Shriek Maw Vampiric Tutor. Well, <laughs> that's a. Uh... Oh, mistakes were made, my friend. Uh, dip 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 dip. -dip. Draw. This guy. You gave this to me. You said you can have this. See, I don't even know if we can attack with the Mirror Angel. This would be a much better... Uh, a much... Look at this. Look at the Gatewatch over here. The evil Gatewatch. Just this guy. Look how look how heavily restricted we are in terms of of winning. We can attack with one guy a turn, and we're still like pretty far ahead. I think our deck is our deck is sweet. We also have no power, and now we can grab a Shriek Maw with Karn, which is pretty nice. Uh oh, Wrath of God. Oh, Wrath of God would be brutal. I mean, we still have four Planeswalkers, but other than that, it's brutal. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're taking Sower of Temptation. It's not really a BM step because you can't win, right? So like, it's not like I'm. It's not like I'm like, hey, hey I'm gonna. I, I get what you're saying though. It is funny that way, but I mean, it's it's also like. Oh, this is nice because our Liliana just lets us draw a card. Or uh, disc that now they have a card to discard. Alright, so we're going to go land. Bird. Kill this. Actually, we're going to kill the Palace Jailer. Because we want to steal the Bane Slayer. Each player discards. Uh, 
Now we get to be the monarch. We get this. We steal our angel back. So many burbs. And shoot you in the face. And I'm just going to leave that. And uh, put a shriek mall into our hand. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't think so. Okay, we did it. Can we draw another card? Good lord. And steal our angel. Are they doing a Leshnorn? They could just draw on a Leshnorn. Yep, that's fine. Shoot him in the brain. I don't think I've ever seen an Ugin at 17 before. I have no reason to use Jace. We had literally everything we needed. I really wish my mouse was not being absolute hot garbage. <laughs> oh, man. They're at one? We got this. We can do it. See, the Shriek Maw is BMs. The Shriek Maw killing one of our birds. Also BMs. Get him. Good games. It was not GG users. were like Barry Robin and Maurice Skip. I don't get that reference. Uh, I, I don't get that reference, but I laugh due to its depth. Oh, it was Bee Gees. It's a Bee Gees reference. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I thought, okay, so I didn't see the second comma, so I was like, Barry, Robin, and Maurice Gibb, who are they? But then Barry, Robin, and Maurice Gibb, I was like, oh, the Bee Gees, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, it makes total sense. We had a good time. We had a good time. More Ugin for the fatal push in. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's what we'll go with. Oh, Cyborg Yui, you didn't know about the stiff? That's hilarious. You were probably like, why isn't he attacking? Sarov, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Always a pleasure. My favorite Sarov. I think we keep this hand. Uh, what are we naming as killer? We can go get Animate Dead, and if we find a way to put this guy... We'll say Gristlebrand. Gristlebrand will be the killer of this game. It's We're challenging ourselves. Actually, I don't even like having to name the killer up to four times because in practice, it's a lot harder for the killer to actually die. And if you end up with no killers left, you just can't win the game. So that's kind of silly. So I think always having a killer and being having to play around that is, is good enough. So I might just take out the... Uh, that was actually something I added because I was like, oh, being able to just keep naming killers seems pretty good. But I mean, I guess that's it's necessary to win the game. So... 
I'll probably run. Yeah, it's like the other so many, and I was like, why isn't he attacking with 20 birds? Hmm. That seems okay. Nope, that's not going to do it. We're going to go with this one, and wow, this mouse is really killing me here. So we're going to wait to Vampiric Tutor to see what we hit. If we draw Liliana, we can go get Animate Dead. If we draw Animate Dead, we can go get Liliana. Or, you know, something else that lets us discard, so. Why does the decklist show a legacy? It's not, well, it's an A, it's not Mono Red Burn. It is bonus round, and B, because that was the last deck we played, and this is a... This is a draft. Oh, a little Nissa. Well, hmm. we could Phantasm Wage the Nissa. <laughs> Seems terrible. Uh, I'll get a 2 2. I agree. I agree with the colors here. We're having a good time. We're having a good. Vamp for Deluge doesn't seem terrible. I mean, it's we don't have Deluge in the main deck, though, so it's, it's a little harder to do that. Fascinating. I don't think we actually need to do anything here. I'm probably just going to Vraska's Contempt the Garrick. Oh, interesting. Well, that's a thing to do. So, oh, next turn we'll have five lands. We can go Liliana, Vampiric Tutor, Reanimate. We do need one more black, though. That's four black. Oh, that's frustrating. So we can still do it. We can still try, and if we hit a black source, we're not going to hit a black source, actually. We know that because we're going to hit, uh... if you image the Gristle Brand, yes, because it has the same name. Although it's, I mean, they're both going to be legendary, so you you won't actually one would die. But I mean, if they have a Gristle Brand and then we get our Gristle Brand, you know, the answer is yes at that point. And you can tell by the way I use my walk, my walk, my Doc Man, what's going on? Okay, now we have a plan. All right, so now we're going to go Vampiric Tutor. We're going to take a million, though. I guess we're just hoping their mono green deck doesn't have the the relevant answers here. All right, so now we can go Vampiric Tutor. Oh, actually, we can just do an EOT. Yeah, that works. You totally did get the BG stuck in my head. As soon as, yeah, like I said in the chat, like I read it incorrectly. Like I read it as, uh, what, is it? what is it, Robin Barry and uh, Maurice Gibbs, and I was like, those are two people. Who are those two people? But then I saw the comma and I was like, oh, there are three people with last... Yeah, that's just BGs. So five, six, seven, they have eight mana this turn. So Woodfall Primus would be a little scary, but... I guess we get to copy it. Which is pretty cool. You guys know that Gristlebrand's legendary, right? And if you copy it, you have to sacrifice one of them. I have a feeling they're going to play Woodfall Primus here. <laughs> biscuits. Oh, biscuits. Oh, Primeval Titan and an Eternal Witness. That is a scary thing. Well, we are having a good time now. 
right? Oh boy, I think we just, I think it, Phantasmal Image isn't legendary? Doesn't it become legendary? I'm pretty sure it becomes legendary. Oh, you get to flip your Nisa? Well, this worked out quite well. This is a hell of a turn. Maybe we just want him to Torok here, and then we copy Phantasmal, Primeval Titan. Garak Wildspeaker. Okay, well, we're really hoping we hit those two. All right. Um, what are we hitting here? Two for image, and then we have one, two, three. We'll have four mana left over. God, it might just be him to Torok. We already have Phantasmal Image to kill it. We could just play Shriek Maw, but eh, I'd rather go Hostage Taker and... Like, we know they have Garrick Wildspeaker and Tooth and Nail in hand, and I really don't want them to play Tooth and Nail, so I'm pretty sure it's... I'm pretty sure it's necessary to get rid of the Tooth and Nail here. Or at least try to. I think we pretty much have to take him to Torok here. Thank you! Archer, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. At 12.54 in your 5th Vintage Cube tip, you say that you pick Xenagos because he's pagan AF and completely missed everything for Christmas was originally a pagan festival joke, and I don't know how you had to feel. <laughs> I think we can get through this together. Come on, hit tooth and nail. Oh my god, those were good hits. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Actually, we can get back something else. We're going to get Primeval Titan here. And we're going to get Creeping Tar Pit and Island. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can just hard cast Gristlebrand next turn. We can also block here and then just reanimate the Phantasmal image for two and copy something else. It's copy like Eternal Witness. Sure. This is actually just fine. Thank you. They only have one other creature that can actually deal damage, so I guess I'll just deal with this. Yep, you get to draw a card. We can actually copy Eternal Witness, get back something like Vampiric Tutor. We're taking a lot of incremental damage here. I do like we can actually reanimate their We can we can play Gristlebrand and reanimate their Primeval Titan if we hit a land here, which is pretty cool. Yep, that is fine, but not wonderful. Oh, they're gonna they're they're overrunning. Which we can't really pressure. Ah, we have Creeping Tar Pit, I guess. One, two, three. Activate. We have four. We can reanimate Phantasmal Image. I guess we can just reanimate their... They have no cards in hand. That's pretty good. What do you do? What do you do? Well. One, two... Three, activate. Then we have one, two, three, and reanimate. So this is six, seven, eight. We go to three. But we get to deal enough damage to Garrick, and we get two prime times in play. 
That actually seems pretty okay. Alternatively, we can animate this guy, bring him back. Nope, can't do that. And it does get us two bodies to block their two their two creatures right now. And they have no creatures in hand. I think we have to do that. Uh, I don't like the lifelink because they're going to likely ultimate Garrick. What is this? So, so 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Which we technically do survive, I guess. But they do draw three cards, which is pretty brutal. Oh, we can actually attack with Creeping Tarpet, can we? What did we name? We named Gristlebrand, right? So actually we have to play Gristlebrand. Oh, no, we can attack their Planeswalkers. That's right. We can attack their Planeswalkers with, with Creeping Tarpet. This is actually a, this is actually a tricky turn. So we block here with Gristlebrand. They draw two cards instead, but then they have to lose their Garrick if they do that. Uh, we can name Tarpet as a killer, yes. Uh, I think we actually just Gristlebrand. I think this is actually fine. They have no cards in hand. They get to draw one. And if they want to attack with both, I'll eat, I'll eat the Edric easily. The killer was Gristlebrand. So, it's convenient. Oh, they hit a land. That's great. Yep, had a feeling you would do that. I will eat the Edric. Five, six, seven, eight. And we'll take 11. We'll go to, we'll go to seven here, which is actually pretty good. They do get to draw three, but they already they also lost uh, Garrick, so basically they drew two, so that's actually fine. This is rinsing my mobile data, no Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna have to catch this. Doc man, no worries, buddy. Appreciate appreciate the 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 quick check in. Yep, that is fine. That is fine, and land is fine. All right, that was that worked out pretty well for us. Oh, Grave Titan, eh? All right. Well, that's a dude. So this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to attack their Nyssa just to, to to put the kibosh on some of the card advantage they're, they're having. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grave Titan. And Phantasmal Image. Grave Titan. I feel like we just we just turned the corner, so that's pretty good. Uh, we could have gotten Primeval Titan, but I don't think it's actually worth taking extra four damage to and and not getting a Grave Titan. So, oh wow, I think we just lost eight nine seven seven Yep, this is actually wow sixteen mana. Okay, seventeen mana. Genesis Wave. Did you just top deck a Genesis Wave for like a million? That's terrifying. Must be nice. <sighs> and they get their eternal witness back, which is the worst because now they can just get tooth and nail or opposition or any of any number of things. Wow. Well, we're doing quite well up until then, so. Yep, opposition seems like a good one to get back. Well, we don't have reanimate in hand, so. <laughs> oh, God. Definitely bringing in Toxic Deluge, wow. That's insane. Now we just get to play a land here. Pretty sure this game is unwinnable at this point. Yep, we're just gonna go to the next game. They have six creatures on board. Well, I guess five, and then they get to go opposition and tap everything we play for the rest of the game. That's cool. Toxic Deluge, Collective Brutality, Fatal Push, all of these things come in. Massacre Worm, you definitely come in. Mind Slaver can go. 
Um, I do like Gonti. Seems good. Hostage taker seems fine. Uh, we can take out reanimate probably. Animate dead still seems fine. Phantasmal image is good. I just want a bunch of removal spells because all their things are creatures. We could probably take out Karn. It's not super impressive. I don't think Liliana is that great either. They have just a bunch of creatures. So I think this is actually fine. Opposition does make Phantasmal image pretty rough. Maybe bring in like a Chupacabra instead. I think that's fine. That is old hee-haw mouth. Look at his beautiful teeth. Uh, Tamio could be good for draw. I don't know. Man, I kill just have one counter spell that I could use on something like opposition or uh, upheaval. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like if we have like Masquer Worm or Toxic Deluge before that happens, it's good. Either way, that game was pretty good up until the point where it wasn't. This hand is. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this hand. It's really rough. Uh, we're gonna name Creeping Tar Pit as the killer, I guess. Just because it's here, maybe we get lucky and we can just bash them seven times in a row. Uh, I have Rock Lobster stuck in my head now. I mean, if we draw something like Collective Brutality, we should be able to... We can nab something. Oh, that'd be great. Kill this, nab a thing. Okay, land is good. I was like, yeah, a Collective Brutality or land is actually just fine. And now you can play Anissa, and we have no way to play Jace, so we have no three drops, unfortunately. Yeah, this... Okay. Search for tomorrow. Okay. I like it. Well, this means we do get a... Jace here. She's probably less impressive than... Alright, that's a good dude. Although Creeping Tar Pit is... So we're supposed to name a creature. I don't know if naming Creeping Tar Pit even counts. We might have to name an actual creature, but maybe Creeping Tar Pit can attack? I don't actually know. Yep, that's pretty good. I would love to copy that thing. Yep, that is why Show and Tell is a trap. Show and Tell into Blightsteel, into Hostage Taker, yep. However, if you have Eureka, then you can play something after that, like an Ugin, to kill their hostage taker. Wow. All right. So, yeah, this is not ideal. Uh, yep. Name you. Hmm. No, I don't know. You can name Tarpet. I just don't know why you'd, if you'd have to. Because you're supposed to name a creature as the killer. So, I'm not sure if I can attack with that. And I guess you I guess you probably can. Because he also mentions that you can name Soldier Token or Goblin Token. So, I think Creeping Tarpet's probably fine. I'm going to have two cards in hand. If we can just get rid of Primeval Titan. We're obviously great, right? Denmark, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. This is where I kind of want Phantasmal Image just to copy this guy. Because, I mean, if they don't have opposition, then it's fine, right? I mean, definitely blocking at least one, so... 
Trample's cool, but I'd rather take six than seven. Deluge for six. Pack rat. That is not the same. Um, I guess each player is going to draw. Oh, well, huh. Okay, so that's fascinating. Unfortunately, I wish I drew that this turn instead. Six, seven, eight, nine. We go to four. Okay. So we're going to pack rat, and then we're going to discard something, maybe? Or maybe we don't. Maybe we just play Vampiric Tutor. We go to... We're going to Vampiric Tutor. We're going to go to... Uh, well, probably a lot less, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. We go to four. That's pretty brutal. And then we're going to discard. This is just up, people. I mean, if they just have people, it's like, whatever. Wow. Yeah. We just don't have the answers for this kind of deck. Like, they're just putting too many things into play too too, too frequently. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's good. Actually, depending on what they get, Worm could be brutal. Tireless Tracker, Eternal Witness? All right, that isn't even that impressive. Unless you just have the cards in hand that you're going to put into play. Okie dokie. Well, that seems good. I don't know why you took that long when you literally have Crater Hoof in hand. But whatever. I guess, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, man. 20 minutes to decide that you're going to put the Crater Hoof into play because you have Crater Hoof in hand. Okay. Okay, Meng. You got it. Uh, it took more like two minutes, not 20 minutes. I guess that's true. Playing around Counterspell, but they already played it. Like, the spell was already resolving. <laughs> like, if you're searching your deck, it's already resolving. I can't counter putting in the Crater Up into play because it's already happening. Oh, uh, this hand looks amazing. We're going to name Pack Rat as the killer. Oh, we're on the draw. Dang, that sucks. It's still very good. Oh man, just another good card. Just another hit. Psycho killer. Maybe we just play bird here. Let's just play bird. I want to hit a land drop next turn. I also want to uh, save him for until they have less creatures. My face burns it probably from the Himalayan rock salt instead of Epsom. So ah, that might do it. Oh, Flopster. Oh, fascinating. Well, considering you have... We could have also played True Name Nemesis, but we can't attack with True Name Nemesis right now. So I'm just going to do one of these jobbies. And we hit Treasure Cruise Crucible of Worlds. So whatever strip mine shenanigans you may, you may have in store. You must name Strix once and just put them on that 20 turn clock. Yeah, that's that's a thing. We named Pack Rat, and I don't know if that's great because it's kind of a slow grindy, a grindy gentleman here. Cabal Ritual, okay. For Yogmoth's Bargain. Well then, isn't that special? Mana Flare and Heartbeat. Wow, both of their like mana engines. That's a pretty good hit. Does that even do anything? What do we need? Pack Rat? I kind of want to hit a land here.
if you're not using your play points on Q, I have no idea what you're wasting them on because like this is much more fun than constructed or limited. So Sure. TJ. Dude, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, those are pretty good hits. So we exiled Mana Flare and Harpy, which are their two engines, and then we discarded Vampiric Tutor Time Spiral. Yeah, if you go 1-2, you get 40 play points. If you go 2-1, you get 100. And if you go 3-0, you get 150. So, kind of a weird distribution, because if you go 1-2 twice, you can't draft again. But... Hey, true name nemesis? Joke's on you. I can't even attack with that. <laughs> Impulse, Dark Ritual, and Grim Tutor. I actually wonder if they can't if they can actually win here. We could go Phantasmage, copy Brain Maggot. What did we name as our killer? Pack Rat? I don't think we're actually gonna hit anything with Gonti. I'm not super sold on Gonti here. A palancron, eh? Okay, I'll just take that, I guess. Your hand is lands? One, one, two, three, four, five. So up into the wasteland. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty insane, dude. Creeping tar pit hath died. Let's see what land they play. <laughs> wow, I don't know how we won this game. Did they just have nothing left after like Mana Flare, Heartbeat, Time Spiral, Vampiric Tutor? Because that's hilarious. Wow. Uh, we're going to name Yogmoss Bargain with the Yogmoss Will with this guy. Um, I'm going to take out some of the creatures. Sower, Shriek Maw. Alternate Price is good because you can kill Palancron with it. Tamio probably better than the other guy. Image kind of sucks. Brutality seems good. Days could be fine. Probably better than Ultimate Price. Actually, Ultimate Price is fine, right? Liliana could be very good. Is very good against the Storm deck. What are we taking out? One more card. Mm, Hostage Share can hit Artifacts. It can also hit, like, Baral. Uh, it hits Baral and it hits Palancron, which we just saw. And it also hits um, Brain Maggot. So it hits all of the creatures that we saw from them. Mind Slaver seems good. Just throw away all their junk. Um, Metamorph can probably come out. We can probably take out Metamorph. Right, I think this is fine. Um... 
you know what? I'm going to keep this because of the Jace and the Days. So. Also, if we hit a bunch of lands, we're in good shape. Oh, that's a good dude. Oh, we're named True. Well, I named True Nemesis. I, 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 that, I feel like I, I didn't name one, so that's my fault. But I mean, True Nemesis is obviously I, I've named it before when it wasn't in my hand, so I think it's fine to name. That's a good hit. All right, now we're in good shape because now our days is actually. Uh, no, you can't name Mind because you you have to name a creature. You can win without naming a creature. That's a dude. I guess we just go Karn here, try to hit more lands. Psycho killer, give me that island, sure. Sure. Eh, that's fine. We can actually hostage taker and recast that guy. That's pretty nice. Why did my revealed cards go over here? Like, why are you reeling them for me? Oh, they took the hostage taker. That ain't that ain't right. Um Yeah, I guess we'll just do this guy. Oh, a gristle brand and a spyglass. <laughs> Give me the gristle brand, seems good. Uh play this guy. One, two, three, we'll jace. Draw. Collective brutality. Yeah, let's do that. Let's escalate with two modes. Uh, reveal your hand and kill the dude. Cast. What are we discarding here? Probably just discarding Gristlebrand. We're not casting this idiot. So. Mind's Desire, Tendrils, Ritual, Brain Freeze, Yogmoth's Will. Okay. Okay, so next turn you're going to go Ritual. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's actually just Ritual. Well, I guess you can Yawgmoth's Bargain and then you get Ritual back. Hmm. I don't care about Tendrils. I don't care about Mind's Desire when you have this little mana. One, two, three, four, five. You can actually just go Mind's Desire. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to take Yawgmoth's Will. That seems like the scariest card for sure. Also, if you go like Yawgmoth's Will, do you just have no other cards? Do you have no lands? Interesting. Wow, Gristlebrand has a degree in drawing cards, bro. I don't think he's... That's fair. That is fair. Good for him. Dark Ritual. Sorcerer's Spyglass is great because if they try to play like Yogmoth's Bargain, we can can do the deed for that guy. It might have even been better to, to get rid of Ugin just to put them at to twelve, which is a four turn clock instead of a five turn clock. Track team, what's going on? How are you, buddy? I'm all right. I'm just a poor boy, but my story is seldom told. <laughs> In his anger and his rage, I believe him, I believe So they can go Dark Ritual, Mind's Desire for two, not super impressive. They can go Dark Ritual, 
brain freeze for two, mines the or tendrils for three. Also not, if not, yeah, but the days, yeah, the days is actually pretty good here. Because they can go ritual Yawgmoth's bargain, we counter that. Days is actually really restrictive right now because they don't have an extra mana. Grim Tutor. Yeah, we're not going to counter that because... I mean... It doesn't... We can't, <laughs> so... What's your choice of first pack, first pick, Guilds of Ravnica Giraffe, Quasi Duplicator, or Disinformation Campaign? Uh, I like Disinformation Campaign better. It's a little more of an engine. Quasi Duplicate's a great card, but like sometimes if there's no creatures on the battlefield, then you're just kind of like, meh. It's a lot of lands here. Four, five. We can actually just play Mind Slaver here in the next turn. Actually, what if we Tamio and keep one of their black tap down? That seems good. I guess let's see what you give me first, right? I'm not going to get the Spyglass just yet. Oh, now we, now we feel bad. I am leaving, I am leaving with the five silver. So the blue doesn't really do anything for us. I mean, I guess it could it could turn off uh, Mind's Desire, but Tamiyo being able to tap down a land here is actually pretty relevant. And it also keeps them, if they, have, if they want to get like Mana Flare, it's... Oh, we just win the game. All right, that's pretty sweet. Man, <laughs> this stipulation was amazing. I mean, it was really restrictive, but uh, we ended up doing pretty well, I think. 2-1, and the only deck we lost to was the Upheaval Opposition deck, which is pretty hard for us to deal with. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to suggest your own stipulations, you can find information on how to do that in my Twitch and my YouTube profiles. Um, you can check those out below. You can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And definitely check out uh, Aaron Kane custom deck boxes. His work is amazing. He actually had, he posted some deck boxes today for Commander. They looked amazing. And uh, they were only 80 bucks each. And you get 10% off with promo code Frank. So be sure to enter that. You'll get eight bucks off. And uh, they look real nice. They also have like hidden under uh, dice compartments underneath. So, I mean, his, his work is fantastic. If you, Even if you're not in the market for something like that, you should definitely check it out because it's just a, it's a sight to behold. So be sure to check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.